Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held two telephone calls with Palestinian President Liberi and the Palestinian Liberation Organization Chairman Mahmoud Abbas and Oman's Deputy Premier for Cabinet Affairs Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said. They exchanged greetings on the holy month of Ramadan, wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain, the two brotherly countries, the Arab and Islamic nations further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Rafah Palace Deputy Prime Ministers His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Ibrahim bin Hamad Al Khalifa, where they exchanged congratulations on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing the kingdom and its people many happy returns. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, affirmed the importance of creativity and innovation in government performance and constantly developing human caters in line with the requirements of circumstances. He added that developing efficiency in providing services to citizens is the purpose of government work. His Royal Highness directed ministerial committees each in its field of specialization to develop studies and discuss possible options that ensure government agencies are able to keep pace with any urgent developments as a result of the current crisis and contribute to elevating their effect on various sectors. The Prime Minister stressed the importance of conducting scientific studies to help deal with the current challenges and face any further crisis, especially with regard to developing medical and health services. On the occasion, His Royal Highness congratulated the people of Bahrain, private and public sector employees, and those who work in the front lines to combat the coronavirus, including medical and nursing staff, hailing their dedication and sacrifice. He added that the dedicated national efforts exerted by the medical caters to protect the safety and health of all have enhanced the level of awareness among all citizens and residents supported the efforts of the government authorities in combating the spread of the virus and placed Bahrain an advanced level globally in the recovery rates and virus containment. His Royal Highness stressed that the current circumstances made the Kingdom keen on developing government performance and human cater efforts to, to benefit uh, the experience, especially to develop the health sector. During the meeting, His Royal Highness reviewed the implementation of his directives to meet the needs of citizens during the current circumstances and support the economy and private sector institutions. His Royal Highness also affirmed the importance of protecting Bahrain's marine sites and preserving the environment and wildlife for their importance in achieving food security and their great tourist value. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a telephone call from Oman's Deputy Premier for Cabinet Affairs Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said where they exchanged congratulations on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. They also wished the Arab and Islamic nations further progress and prosperity. The two sides emphasized the deep-rooted brotherly relations between Bahrain and Oman and expressed their desire to further bolster these relations for the benefit of both countries and their people. The Shura Council held its session remotely led by its chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh. The council approved a draft law amending Article 3 of Decree Law No. 10 for the year 1976 with regard to housing. The draft law will make properties of Bahrainis who benefit for housing services at their disposal without being bound by the seven-year period stipulated in the article in force while maintaining the condition of approval of the Ministry of Housing. The council then approved a number of articles as received from the government concerning organizing and controlling international trade in endangered species of animals and fungal plants. The French ambassador to Bahrain, Jérôme Chachard, said that, that the aptness and transparency applied by Bahraini authorities in dealing with the coronavirus have made the French community in the kingdom feel confident and safe. He stated that the practical approach taken by the kingdom and the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 has played an effective role in dealing with the disease and at the same time the procedures and measures in Bahrain are developing in a practical way to mitigate the spread of the virus. He continued by saying that the Bahrain authorities have dealt in an appropriate and open manner with the spread of the virus and through this has made the French community in Bahrain feel confident and safe. The French ambassador added that Bahrain at an early stage took numerous precautionary measures including suspending schools, conducting tests on large scales, reinforcing online services in many departments, implementing home isolation and developing a sophisticated system to monitor the full compliance with isolation. 
The Ministry of Health announced the referral of citizens from quarantine centers to self-isolation at home in accordance with resolution number 25 for the year 2020 issued by the Minister of Health. The resolution sets out to home self-isolation health regulations that suspected and active coronavirus patients are obliged to follow. The Ministry of Health stressed that all those who are ordered to self-isolate are required to sign a self-isolation declaration form and adhere to home self-isolation guidelines for a minimum of two weeks. These measures include downloading the Be Aware app and wearing an electronic bracelet to enable expedited public health management. The ministry reiterated that these public health procedures have been established to ensure the safety of patients and the community. The ministry noted that citizens who have been uh, relocated to home self-isolation include returnees to Bahrain from abroad. The ministry added that contacts of active cases are already being referred to home self-isolation for two weeks. Patients who have recovered from COVID-19 are obliged to self-isolate at home for a period of four weeks and are tested regularly to ensure they have completely recovered from the virus. The ministry reiterated the importance of following home self-isolation guidelines. The ministry also noted that individuals may book a COVID-19 test via the Be Aware app after the home self-isolation period has ended and can proceed to the Baha'i International Exhibition and Convention Center at the appointment date provided. As precautionary measures are the first step towards mitigating the spread of the coronavirus, Bahrain has taken extensive strides toward conducting the, large number, the largest number of procedures to protect the health of citizens. More on this report. As part of the precautionary measures adopted by the Kingdom, Bahrain has implemented the strategy of social distancing and established a managed framework of free movement to ensure that family life and economic productivity would continue. As part of the social distancing strategy, schools and universities were closed to prevent the spread of the virus among students and teachers. But in order for the educational process not to be interrupted, the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Information Affairs collaborated to broadcast eight hours of educational content a day on television. The social distancing strategy also includes urging employees to work from home, for which Bahrain reported the highest rate of implementation in the Gulf region. Also, individuals are advised to remain at home with the exception of those who commute to and from work, those buying medication or essential necessities, and those visiting a hospital. A multilingual national campaign to combat COVID-19 has been launched in the Kingdom to enhance public awareness and increase prevention measures. Bahrain began a disinfection program across all governorates. The Civil Defense trained 322 individuals from cleaning and private companies to carry out the disinfection operations, which were conducted in accordance with local and international standards and in coordination with concerned authorities. As a precautionary measure, many government institutions, councils and governmental bodies held their meetings remotely, including the Cabinet, the Representatives' Council and Ministries. The Kingdom also made wearing face masks in public areas compulsory for citizens and residents.